Hey everybody, it's Physical Friday, and today we're going to answer a question that I have gotten a bunch of times and we've just never really addressed it, and that is what kind of running shoe or workout shoe that I prefer. And uh, this question, mostly I get these questions on the text thread. It is area code 305-930-7346. That's the number that you can text and make show suggestions, or you can ask questions just like um, this question that I've gotten a whole bunch of times. Now, for my own workouts, if you're a longtime listener of the show, you know that I like to do CrossFit and CrossFit-like things. I also like just general running and other things like that. And in order to do these things, you need a certain shoe. For running, I use a specific running shoe. For CrossFit, I have used all different types of shoes, uh, starting CrossFit before there was a CrossFit shoe, um, using the original kind of CrossFit style shoe was a Converse All-Star. Um, some people preferred the high top. Some people preferred the low top. Uh, even Vans. Vans were really good. Now, what's good about both of those shoes is that they were flat shoes. So that's what I'm looking for in a CrossFit shoe, first of all, is something that is that is flat because I don't really want a, a higher heel like a conventional running shoe, and I also don't want something that has a tremendous amount of cushion in it like a running shoe because what you're going to be doing in these shoes is you're going to be squatting, you're going to be doing pull-ups, double-unders, all of these other things, but specifically for the weightlifting, if you're wearing a very cushiony shoe, when you're lifting weights, it's like trying to squat on a bed. You know, and if you look at a real Olympic lifting shoe, it has a solid heel that gives no, there's no give. Now, the heel is elevated and raised a little bit, but there's no give in there. So a flat shoe generally allows for me to have something that doesn't have very much cushion. It's pretty hard. And so that is one that, that I really like in, in a CrossFit shoe and in any sort of, some people call them functional fitness shoes or just uh, cross-training shoes because they can't use the word CrossFit in their marketing. But, you know, that's, that's kind of the main thing. I want something that's kind of low profile and flat. I also want it to be a really grippy sole. So if you look at some of the, some of the old style CrossFit shoes, this is a, a Reebok one. The Reebok ones were uh, the first true CrossFit shoe that was designed for the sport of CrossFit. It even has uh, CrossFit right on the, the tab. Reebok doesn't sponsor CrossFit anymore. They still make some training shoes, but not as many as they once were. They had a they had a real commitment to the sport and they don't anymore. So one of the things also about a, a shoe like this and a running shoe is if you're trying to climb the ropes in this area of the shoe, in the middle of the shoe, the rope will tear up the shoe very, very badly. So you can even have you know, just a standard running shoe like this. And you can even see where I have uh, done some workouts where you will climb the rope and the rope will um, tear up a shoe like this. They will put either Another, um, I've got all these different shoes here. Um, some of these have been in the closet for a little while. But this one is an old one that I really like. It had an insert here that was really good specifically for the rope. They even call it on, on this one, I think it says Rope Pro right there. So it, they designed the shoes so that you can climb ropes because that was one of the things that was would just shred a shoe in a, in a day or one workout. You would shred your shoes. Having a shoe like this um, is, is kind of what, what I was looking for and kind of what a lot of the athletes in CrossFit were looking for. So that's that is kind of what I'm looking for. And I, I did find that many of the Reebok shoes were really good. I really like these shoes. These were great. Uh, they were pretty durable. They were grippy. They were flat. They had a wide heel. So that, that kind of keeps you from uh, twisting an ankle. And uh, what else am I looking for? I mean, I want to be able to run a mile in these shoes, but I don't, uh, these aren't the ones that I'm going to run 10 miles in. So if I'm going to have a workout where I'm going to run 10 miles, I'm going to go to a running shoe more like this, much more cushion in the shoe for my own purposes. Um, but this isn't the one that I'm going to choose for day-to-day -day workouts. I'm going to choose these. So when Reebok quit making shoes for CrossFit, I had to find something else. 
So I went out and I found one that was very similar to the to the Reebok, and you can also see that um, I work out in the mud, I guess, a lot because these shoes are disgusting and dirty. But this was a, a shoe that I really liked. Also, it was an Ultra. I like it has a big wide toe box. It has a wide heel. It's a flat shoe, just like I'm talking about. It has a grippy sole. Has all the things that I want in in a shoe, and it's also very comfortable, lightweight, so you're not. Um, lifting a bunch of weight when you're doing double unders or even pull-ups or any muscle-ups or anything like that so a lightweight shoe is also good this fit the bill for everything but what it what what it also did this is my second or third pair of these and the upper man i would just burn through these uppers and um just get holes all in them and tear them up and they didn't really last very long so that was my main complaint with these i like so many of the things that this shoe did um and the design of it is very, very comfortable. But, you know, I'm spending $120 on a pair of shoes like this, and they're tearing up really fast. So I got away from those. And I was searching for what I was going to go with instead and really not coming up with, with that many um, things. I've never been a Nike guy, but the, there is a Nike uh, Metcon, very popular shoe. Some people really like that. Nikes typically are too narrow for my feet, so I, I've never had the Nike Metcon. What I did find is that uh, a few years ago, I did the Go Ruck selection, and we've done a number of Go Ruck uh, events. Go Ruck builds backpacks like this. This backpack is a lifetime purchase. If you get one of these, I don't care what you do to it. I don't care how much you use it. This thing will last a long time, probably a lifetime. It even has a guarantee on it where if something breaks, you can send it back and it has what's called the scars guarantee and they will fix it for you um, for the life of the product. Not a lot of people still do that, but this was created by a uh, Green Beret and it, it um, is similar to a Green Beret medical pack. And the, the quality on this is unbelievable. I have three of these, and they are all as good as new, and they have a tremendous amount of wear and tear on them. So when I found out that GoRuck was making shoes, I thought, well, maybe this is something that I want to check out. So the GoRuck shoe is very similar to all the other shoes that that i talked about it has all of the things that i want in a crossfit shoe it's a flat shoe doesn't have a lot of cushion it uh has durable area for rope climbs it fits it fits the bill but what is different about this one is that this shoe is made out of the same material that they make the backpacks out of and the stitching is the same and i thought well i'll give this thing a shot because i'm tired of you know, the, the durability issue was a real problem, throwing away $120 every time. These things are incredible. They fit the bill for everything that I want in a, in a shoe to work out in every single day. And the durability on this is literally this, this I don't know when I'm going to wear these things out, but I'm doing the same things that I did with these shoes, and these things are trashed. They've got holes all in them everywhere. The stitching is coming apart. And I'm doing the same things, and I've had this for about the same amount of time. And these things are killer. They're awesome. So this is what I'm currently wearing. I'm still in the search on the search for the perfect shoe, but this is about as close as I've found for myself. Um, so maybe it's something you want to check out. If you want to check out the GoRuck shoe, these are called the Ballistic Trainer. There's a link in the description below. You can click that link and you can go right to the GoRuck website and buy them. You can also buy the, the backpack that I just showed is called a GR1. I also have the GR2, which is slightly larger. That's the one that I travel with all the time. Every trip I go on, I take that backpack and uh, literally lifetime purchases here, whether it's the shoes or the backpacks. So check that out. If you're in the market for a new um, shoe, like the person that asked me the question, then great. I hope this has helped. This is the one that I prefer right now. And uh, if you have questions, you can always ask me questions about fishing or fitness or whatever you want at 305-930-7346. And I hope that helped you. If you got any other questions, shoot them my way and we'll do a show on that too. All right. Out. See ya.